Hello, my friends. What's up? How are you? I, myself, am fantabulistic. I'm Sam I am. I'm really excited to be here with you guys today for another video. Something fun, I'm sure, or I hope. I don't know. You tell me. Let me know at the end if you think we had fun. If you enjoyed my project and liked how I did the video. Okay, we're going to do something extremely different extremely okie dokie let's see what we got have y'all ever seen these the mica flakes they're pretty aren't they they're beautiful i like them let me take one out show it to you in case you've never seen them they are like this it's very thin probably like a I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to describe it like. Uh, like a photo album page. A little thicker than that. Maybe as thick as a fingernail? I just cut my fingernails. So maybe that's a good... Some of them are a little stronger than others. So that's what that is. I dropped a piece somewhere. I'll find it. And then let's look at the blue. These are bigger pieces. And these are smaller, and this, I'm not exactly sure the name of this blue, but it's blue default. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? See? That's thin. And that's because these are dyed. Not quite sure how yet. My inquiring minds want to know, though. Yes, we do. Okay, so these came from Laura's Art Corner place that has the best quality of mica flakes I'm sure because she's got awesome quality products so when I looked around to buy them I found them on her website I will link her down I think she's already down there and I just put it under helpful links so my question is for as little as Laura charges for these other places charge a lot more so what do you think this is worth. Look at this. Look how thick this is. I'm going to pull one off. Well, this one I had already pulled off. Same thickness. Same color. Layer after layer after layer. What do y'all think? Is that not the coolest crap? I, my sister-in-law, my best friend, she and I were, she was working in the yard. I was watching. I was sitting in my chair watching her. And uh, she says, it's good to have company while I'm out here. I was like, okay. So she got them all set up around her bird bath. All these rocks. She's been collecting everywhere she went. Well, she went to a quarry one time. Actually, funny story. I was supposed to go with her, my son and I, and husband at the time. We were supposed to go, but I thought she was leaving at 10. She's like, why would I go towards the mountains at 10 in the morning? So they left like at 6 or 7. Obviously, we overslept, so we didn't make it. Anyway, my point is, she brought these rocks back. And she had them. I said, Maureen, do you know what you got there? And I pulled this up on Laura's Art Corner, and I showed her. I said, Laura wants $7 a bag for this. Awesome, because it's a nice size bag. And I've... Like I said, priced them elsewhere, and they were way more expensive. So, for $7, and this is 25 grams. I don't know how much this weighs. I, my scale broke. I resin the buttons together. But I would like to know how much this weighs and see how much it does. And I'd like to know how to color it. I've tried to do it, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. That's what we're going to do. We're going to find out. But I needed to show you all something. You see this? Well, if you think that's a lot, what do you think that is? <laughs> layer after layer after layer of mica. Do you believe it? And last but not least, layer after layer after layer. Tell me I was not excited because I'm going to figure out how to dye it. I am going to figure out how to color it. And I'm going to make my own colors. See, am I am coloring it? That's what I'm gonna call it. Yep, 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 yep. So yeah, I was just so excited. We're gonna see something. We're gonna see what happens. 
Let me clear this up. Let me move it. Isn't this a pretty plate? I paid 75 cents for it. It's rather heavy. 75 cents for it at thrift store. Major bargains at the thrift store. If you don't shop at thrift stores, you do not know what you're missing. That is fun. Good times. But you gotta have the time to go and look. And you might not find something every time you go. But if you go on a regular basis, go on Mondays after everybody's had yard sales on the weekends. Maybe Tuesday, give them the Monday to clean it up. Most people have boxed it up though after their yard sale and said, it's going to the thrift store. It's not coming back in the house. Okay, guys. So, what I have done is I dyed some. <laughs> I put some, I don't remember which one. That one. This is Peacock Blue Resin Dye from Let's Resin. This is uh, Laguna Alcohol Ink from Ranger. So, I just put some in there. And I've let it sit and soak in there. This is what it looks like. This. Is colored now rightly my I, I mean it's not colored enough I don't think to get anything out of it but oh man I wanted that plate up here for a reason maybe I could do it in this cup I want to try and crush it I got I bought the thing that goes with this what do you call it uh, this on the tip of my tongue mmm -hmm. I'll think about it but you use one of those little cups, and this goes with it, and you crush it. A medicine. People use it for medicine and stuff. I don't think this is hard enough. It's not. It's not doing nothing. I'm getting ink out of it. I don't know that that's what we want. Let me see. That's why I had this out. Let's see what happens. Can y'all see there? Let me get my chair up here. Oh boy. You know, it recommends putting it in a food processor. I think I'm going to have to look for a food processor at the thrift store. Is that, let me put some gloves on. Let me see what we got, y'all. I'll get a food processor. I will see what I can do on an amateur level. This stuff is uh, not thick, but it's uh, tough. It's tough to uh, break. Definitely need a food processor or something. More strength than will than I got. But I wanted to see if this would... I don't think it'll dissolve like this. No, it's not going to dissolve like this. It's not helpful at all like this. How do you think it dissolves in resin? When it's like, I mean, obviously it's smaller than this, but even in small, smaller particles, you wouldn't think that it, when it's, it's definitely got to go through a different process. And look, online it said that what did it say? Uh, food micas are easier to come by. Well, where do you get food mica from? I mean, I, I've never heard of such. And I don't think that micas... And I really can't find anything that tells me how you make mica. I mean, uh, much about it at all. But I know a lot of people get into it. A lot of resin people do. I, mean, I don't want to sell it. I just like to make my own to make. I don't want to buy anymore. Well, maybe not. I will always have to buy more. But it will just add to my colors. I see. And again, it broke up. It just takes a little while. So, yeah, with the food processor. I think mom would notice if I borrowed ours in the kitchen. So I will have to go to the thrift store and come back and show you again what we can do. 
Maybe I won't do this video until I get the food processor. You know what? I really want the food processor to see what, show y'all what it can do. So, I could set this aside and come back and revisit it. I have to go to the doctor tomorrow so I could pick up a food processor at the thrift store then. I don't see why not. I think that would be a good idea. So why don't we do that? We got this a little bit. I turned it up as much as I could. That's what we got. And it's dyed, y'all. I did dye it. So I would like to see what this is going to do because I wanted to make a project with it. I want to do this little guy. You know what it is? Kind of got a good idea from that. Just think about it. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. You will never know because it will be just a blink of an eye for you. But I'm putting this aside until tomorrow. Okie doke. All right. Hello, my friends. Okay, it's been a couple days. Uh, last time we were here, we had colored these micas from the rocks that my sister-in-law found up in the Virginia mountains in a quarry somewhere. That's where we were. Since then, I went on Amazon and I ordered this little um, spice grinder, electric spice grinder. So I am going to see how well these turn out. Now, if this uh, spice grinder does any well, I mean, that could be a problem too. We won't know until we try it out. According to the pictures, it makes really fine powder. I just look at this and find it hard to believe that that blade is going to be able to get everything fine powder when it's not even hitting the bottom. You know what I mean? And it's not really that sharp, but you know what? If it doesn't work like the picture and it's advertised, it shall be returned. Yes, sir. Re Bob. All right, let's do it. So let's go with the, um, this is the Laguna. Laguna. All right. Put it in there. I wish me luck. I'm ready to do this since I got up. Ready? Y'all commuted, okay? Yeah, I do see it getting a little later, y'all. Look. Easy. Look. Oh, look. This light's not on bright. That's what my light bright is broken. There you go. You see down in there? See? See, see? All right. I'm going to do it some more. See what happens. We'll see how. We can get it. It really is getting fine. Give us dust. It's flying around, y'all. 
Um, let me pour it into, how about this? This is clear. Look, I made mica. Look at that. I mean, if it doesn't color anything, it at least looks like pretty glitter. Hello. Look at that. I'm going to do this one. Y'all can, uh, I'll put it on fast forward if you want. Because I'm going to do some of this some more. See what we get out of it. Because I got this little brush. So, I'll put it on time lapse if you want. Or y'all want to hang out for another minute. And then, then go back on time lapse. Why don't we do that? I know y'all are excited too. I know you love it. You love it. And you want more of it. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> put that on. It is, y'all. It is. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. That is so crazy, y'all. It is just crazy to think that I can make mica. Look, just this little bit, and I made that. And I got, like, a whole boulder back there. It looks like I'm going to be going on a daggone trip to wherever she went before. A quarry up in northern Virginia. It was only a couple hours away, so it's worth the trip. I'll pack me a pick and nick a basket and go hunting Micah. Who wants to go? Let's go. I will drive. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more, okay? <laughs> what we got. Yeah, y'all. I mean, it's having to do a little fancy brush I wanted to use. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Come here. Come here. Thank you. So, yeah. We got dust, babies. We have got dust, mica dust. Look at that. Is that not cool? How cool is that? Now the t test will be, does it work in resin? So I am going to do this one, finish it, and then I'm gonna mix up some resin. So I'm gonna put this on fast forward or time lapse, whatever. And then I, oops. When I come back to you, I'll have the resin ready to mix our new mica in it, okay? And a project that we're going to do. So, just enjoy the, the uh, mixing, all right? Well, shucks. I'm just going to keep on here that I'm going to pause you, okay? <laughs> I'm back after doing my little um, powder making with the mica flakes. I am split up here. We have the alcohol ink Laguna, and then we have the peacock blue from Let's Resin. This is the very fine powder that I brushed off the bottom and the top. 
that was um, left there and it brushed it in here. And this one is that one. And this is what I dumped out. And that down in there. And that down in there. Probably can't see that worth a two. Hold on. Let me get something to help you see it worth a toot. Um, got a million dead and old, and I can't put my hand on two. Come on. Okay, my goodness. Here we go. So this is what I dumped out of the Laguna. This is what I brushed out. See, that's much finer. See? You see that? See the difference? Isn't that cool? I think that's awesome. We made some mica. We made some mica. Sam, I am mica. Sam, I am mica. What do you think? Sam, I am mica? I think that sounds cool. All right, let's check out this one now. Let's check out the peekaboo. Move that out of the way before I spill it. All right, this was the powder. And this, now, see, this kind of did different. I don't know if it's the alcohol that made this a little different, but it seems like it did a little different because it's not much difference that I notice in this and in this. But it could be maybe I mixed this one a little more. I mean, I am amateur here. This is not, this is my first rodeo with this. So, um... I'm not sure. I am anxious to see how this works in resin. I have mixed up resin for us. So let me move these out of the way. Let me see if I can dump this in there. Well, oh, I'll just put it in there. There we go. Here we go. I am so excited to see if this works, y'all. I just can't stand it. And I had a pretty rotten day. I'm going to tell you all that right now. I had a rotten, rotten day. It's all I can do just to be out here. I had to come out here and tune the world out. Oh, yeah, rotten day. So, I hope y'all had a good day. Because being here is making my day better. So, all I can say is thank you. Thank you, my friends. That's what friends are for, right? Okay, so, I have mixed up uh, six ounces. Or was it six? Yes, yeah, six ounces of ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. I am going to mix up each color in one and then I'm going to put some uh, paste, white paste. Oh, I couldn't get this open the other day. That's right. My son's not here to help me. My Satori won't open. This happened before and they both tried and then I got a hold of it after them and it, for some reason it opened. Okay, I can't fight that. I don't have the strength. So we're going to go with Lorez Angel White. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know what I'm going to do about this tutorial. It'll be a long time before Braden gets home to do it. I'll have to order another one, I guess. Okay, as you know, y'all can't see that. Oh, my God. I don't know why I'm so bad about it, y'all. And I know y'all are probably going, girl, get in the frame. What is wrong with you? We can't see over there. So, you want to mix this up really good. And you scrape your stick because... It's very heavy, and you don't need a lot. It's highly concentrated. So a little goes a long way, even on your arm. <laughs> okay. Put that lid back on your product. Just takes a second to do so. I have to tell you all, my resin's kind of hot because I got into watching a video on my laptop over there at the other desk because it's something I want to do. And I'm going to do it with y'all, too. And um, I was like, oh, crap. Because y'all know I put my resin on the resin curing plate to help get the bubbles out. And, I mean, this is the best. But you got to be on it. You can't overleave it or um, say goodbye to that resin. Thankfully, it was okay. It's just 
I lost a lot more work and time than usual because it's been repeated a million times and I'm going to repeat it a million and one time. If you heat your resin up via water bath, heat and plate, uh, uh, heat gun, you lose working time. Anytime you rush the process, you lose your working time. Just keep that in mind. But hey, if you can work quick, then do it because it's quicker that your stuff's going to get ready. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we're going to go with the peacock blue of our homemade mica. The fine powder. Let's see if this is enough. Well, you know why it's not going to be enough? It's only going to be as much as how much pigment I put in there. I mean, it's working, but I need to see if it... Uh, you know, uh, isn't leaving rocks in the bottom. You know what I mean? It's very bubbly. Very bubbly. I wonder why it's bubbly. That's weird. All right, let's put some more in. So, what other than resin dye would I get to dye it with? I mean, I know there's some. There's got to be something out there commercially available. I mean, I know there is. I just don't know what it is. Because that's what I would need. I mean, it. I don't see anything other than bubbles. I think it's, like, gone. There's nothing laying around on the bottom of the cup. Like, you know, granules or anything. Did it work, y'all? Or is that what these bubbles are? Is it floating stuff? I don't know. I can't. Y'all can't see. If I can't see, I know y'all can't see. See, I don't know. See what it's like? Mm. I don't feel granules, you know? We're going to see what we get, baby cakes. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, we are. Uh-oh. Yeah, I still got to use that one. Okay, so that one's that one. I got to get a wipe. It's right here by y'all's ear. I'm sorry I didn't do that. I did not prepare for class. Again, bad, bad day. I mean, probably the worst day I've had in many years. Um... I am going to say that we are going to have a beautiful project come out of this. That's what I'm going to say. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to put it in the white. That's not going to be beautiful. No, it sure won't. Okay. Again, it's bubbly. I do see one piece of flake that didn't get chopped up. I don't know why it's so bubbly. I just, I don't know. See? See how bubbly it is? The color looks good. I want to add just a little more just because. I mean, it doesn't feel gritty. I, it doesn't. And the color is, looks like alcohol ink. So what would I get to really dye this, guys? Well, let's see if I can pop those bubbles down there. See if that goes away. I don't think it's going to blow up, do you? That would be terrible.
I don't know. But I, like I said, I don't see a bunch of granules in there. I mean, I do see the bubbles. You want bubbles? We got bubbles, that's for sure. So I'm not quite sure what's up with that. But let's pour it. Let's get this pouring party started. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to see what we get. And I'm going to use these cute little molds that I got from BB Craft. They sent me to use with you guys. So, thank you, BB Craft. I'm going to enjoy using Sam I am Micah in it. Yes, I am. Yep, yep, yep. You guys, if you want to get these little molds... They'd be great for like little projects you have going on, like you're making tags with names or um, uh, name tags is really all that's coming to my mind right this second. If you're making Easter eggs, uh, little footballs, um, bad day, guys. I, that's all I got right now. That's all I can think of. It's still cool for many, many things. You can make just a... a a pretty picture with them, you know, different colors, picture frames, you know, all different kinds of stuff you could do with them. Okay, so let's go. I don't know what to use first. Let me move that, that, that out of the way, that out of the way. That's helpful. That really helps my stress level extremely. Move that out of the way. Move this over here out of the way. Move this over here out of the way. I'm sorry, y'all. I just I, I literally having a hard time breathing with that claustrophobia going on. Okay, no, move that one, take that one. So let's go with, let's put some paste in. I'm going to pour one with just the color, and then I'm going to pour one with the white and the color. Okay? I didn't use, I was going to use a dye and a, and a, alcohol ink you know switch it up in the other but that's not really giving us a good idea of how well it mixes so we're going to see how well a dye and how well uh alcohol ink mixed in sam mica works with just white paste that makes sense okay so here is the um what was this one the alcohol ink so that'll be the alcohol ink one this is, there's the white, man. Just so. Alright, so we will do that with this one. We'll see how well our alcohol ink goes with that. I can see some chunks in it. I can see some chunks in it. But that means... It needs to be finer, right? Don't y'all think? That just means I need to take it down finer. I gotta find a better, I gotta find a, find a finer spice grinder to make my powder more fine. How about that, y'all? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're gonna do the dye. That one looks a little better. So again, maybe I spent more time. There's one piece of flake in there. Maybe I spent more time on that one grinding it. Or the dye works better than the alcohol ink. You know, those are factors that have to be taken into consideration. So I'm anxious to see what happens with these cured. She'll be very exciting. Let me pull out whatever's floating in this one. It's just another, a big piece of flake that didn't get um, chopped up well enough. I mean, there's definitely pieces in here that if it had been a finer grinder, it would have come out better. Let me, um, let me do this. So we shall see what Sam Micah does. Hey, I'm going to throw it on the resin curing plate. Oh, no, in it. 
lickety split. So when I come back to you, I will have our coasters with CMIM mica. Don't you go anywhere. Hey friends. Well, I have our cured pieces and overall I'm impressed. Let's get them out. This was the peacock blue. If you'll see, that's not bubbles. Well, it might be some bubbles, but it's like, um, can you see that? I don't think you can see that very well. Hold on, maybe I can hold it like this. There you go. See how all that's in there? I think that's because it's not being ground down fine enough. So I've been on Amazon looking to see if I could find something that will grind this down even more. And I know I could do it by hand, and that might be the way that I have to do it. What's it? I still haven't forgot. I forgot what's it called. A pestle and... What is it called? Oh, I meant to look it up before I got on here and I didn't. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I have one. Here, let me show you what I got. I don't know why I got this because it looks like it's sat satanic or something. But it, um, this, this little bowl with this. And for some reason, my smart self got a wooden one. So uh, it absorbs everything. So I need a, um, ceramic or something to that nature one so that's what i'm going to get i guess because it looks like i'm going to have to take this down even further than what my machine can get it well unless i find another machine that'll do it so i mean the, but the color came out good it soaked in well i mean i'm pretty daggone impressed for somebody who just picked up a 20 dollar grinder with some to use on some mica that she found her sister-in-law found out in the wild and i just died so i'm i'm on a roll i mean i'm on a track for something that is the alcohol ink again this is the peacock blue resin dye pretty cool so how'd i do guys do i get a thumbs up for trying Maybe on to something, maybe just need to grind this down a little further so I can make my own mica, find something different to dye it with, something that, uh, you know, dyes better than an alcohol ink in a resin dye. There's stuff out there that's more potent, more concentrated. I mean, you all know I complain about my resin dyes and alcohol inks just doing regular projects. So certainly not strong enough to dye mica. But how cool is it that I found real mica to use? I mean, I can still just use the flakes, even if I don't use, get it colored. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get it down to where I have Sam I am mica. Yes, I am. I am going to try that. So, guys, I appreciate it. If you would, uh, consider giving me a thumbs up. And while you're there, subscribing. Doesn't cost you a thing, but man, oh, man, it sure helps me out. This little old Sam I am could use as much help as she possibly can get. Believe me. I have three contests going on. All the description details are down in the description. Rather than rolling through them tonight, I'm just going to let you guys direct you there and let you guys read about them yourself. They're pretty cool. Get in on the action while you can. All right, my friends. For now, I shall say goodbye. And I will tell you I love you and I mean it. See ya. Bye.